Welcome to the Appendix, where we read the primary sources of the past so that you can better understand the present. Today's primary resource, the earliest protest against slavery, resolutions of Germantown Mennonites, February 18th, 1688. Negro slavery was first introduced to the English colonies in America in 1619, though the number of Negro slaves in the 17th century was comparatively small, there was some protest against the institution, especially from the Quakers and Mennonites. The protest of 1688 is the earliest known protest against slavery in the American colonies. This is to the monthly meeting held at Richard Worrell's. These are the reasons why we are against the traffic of men body as followeth. Is there any that would be done or handled at this manner, viz. to be sold or made a slave for all the time of his life? How fearful and faint-hearted are many at sea when they see a strange vessel, being afraid it should be a Turk, and they should be taken and sold for slaves into Turkey. Now, what is this better done than Turks do? Yea, rather it is worse for them, which say that they are Christians. For we hear that the most part of such Negroes are brought hither against their will and consent, and that many of them are stolen. Now, though they are black, we cannot conceive there is more liberty to have them slaves as it is to have other white ones. There is a saying that we should do to all men like as we will be done ourselves, making no difference of what generation, descent, or color they are. And those who steal or rob men, and those who buy or purchase them, are they not all alike? Here is the liberty of conscience, which is right and reasonable, here ought to be, likewise, liberty of the body, except of evil doers, which is another case. But to bring men hither, or to rob and still them against their will, we stand against. In Europe there are many oppressed for conscious sakes, and here there are those oppressed which are of black color. And we who know that men must not commit adultery, some do commit adultery, and others, separating wives from their husbands and giving them to others, and some sell the children of the poor creatures to other men. Ah, do you consider well this thing, you who do it? If you would be done at this manner, and if it is done according to Christianity, you surpass Holland and Germany in this thing. This makes an ill report in all those countries of Europe where they hear of it, that the Quakers do here handle men as they handle there the cattle. And for that reason, some have no mind or inclination to come hither. And who shall maintain this, your cause, or plead for it? Truly, we cannot do so, except you shall inform us better hereof, viz., that Christians have liberty to practice these things. Pray, what thing in the world can be done worse towards us than if a man should rob or steal us away and sell us for slaves to strange countries, separating husbands from their wives and children? Being now this is not done in the manner we would be done at, therefore we contradict and are against this traffic of man-body. And we who profess that it is not lawful to steal must likewise avoid to purchase such things as are stolen, but rather help to stop this robbing and stealing, if possible. And such men ought to be delivered out of the hands of the robbers and set free as in Europe. Then is Pennsylvania to have a good report instead of hath now a bad one, for this sake in other countries especially whereas the Europeans are desirous to know in what manner 
the Quakers do rule in their province, and most of them do look upon us with an envious eye. But if this is done well, what shall we say is done evil? If once these slaves, which they say are so wicked and stubborn men, should join themselves, fight for their freedom, and handle their masters and mistresses as they did handle them before, with these masters and mistresses take the sword at hand and war against these poor slaves, like as we are able to believe some will not refuse to do? Or have these poor negroes not as much right to fight for their freedom as you have to keep them slaves? Now consider well this thing, if it is good or bad, and in the case you find it to be good to handle these blacks in that manner, we desire and inquire you hereby lovingly may inform us herein, which at this time never was done vis that Christians have such a liberty to do so. To the end we shall be satisfied on this point, and satisfied likewise our good friends and acquaintances in our native country, to whom it is a terror or fearful thing that men should be handled so in Pennsylvania. This is our meeting at Germantown, held ye 18th of the second month, 1688, to be delivered to the monthly meeting at Richard Worrell's. Garrett Hinderich, Derek Op de Graff, Francis Daniel Pastoris, Abram Ope de Graff. Thank you for joining us for today's primary source on the appendix. We will see you in the stacks.